All right, everybody, show and tell time. So you know how you get lab work, like blood work done, and you might get the results early before you talk to a doctor, and you see all these values that are like high, and you're freaking out. Well, that's what happened to me. I uploaded it a while ago to ChatGPT, and it gave me some like good information, right? So I decided, let's make a wrapper. And you're gonna see just how far I've came in less than two weeks to having this app almost completely built. Check this out. So if I click on upload lab work right here, browse files, choose my PDF. This here is uploading and it's already finished. Now it's analyzing the lab work. And this, by the way, is a Rive canvas layer right here. Super fun. I'm gonna make it even cooler than this. But what it's doing is it's analyzing this PDF that I uploaded, or it could just be like a phone you know, picture, like a PNG or a JPEG that you took with your phone. And it's extracting all that data and it's going to put it into a UI where everything is uniform. Then you're gonna see in a second how we can add a follow-up report and how it does a really cool analysis between both of the results. So before you can see the actual lab result, you have to put in some lab work information. Now this UI, I didn't build, the AI did, so I'm gonna to have to go back and make it like way better. But reason for lab work, I'm gonna put uh, to see if I'm a candidate for TRT. All right, and that's actually true. That This is my actual lab work that I had uh, done. So I'm gonna put like three months ago for the date, and then my weight at that point in time was 176. I'm gonna save this, and now it's gonna show us all the data that it extracted uh, from that lab report. And we can see which ones are high and which ones are low. So if I check out the low ones, we'll see these are the low ones. Um, my actual testosterone if I come down here, I believe it's usually down here. They are on the low side, as you can see, like my free testosterone is like 5.8. The acceptable range is 5.7. Total testosterone, 377. So I can go over here and ask questions about my lab results. But what's actually even way cooler is I can go back to my dashboard and I can add a follow-up report that I had three months after starting TRT. So if I do this right here, it's gonna upload this and then we're gonna do a comparative analysis. Right, so I'm gonna put once again, the reason for this lab work is follow up after starting TRT for three months. No side effects ex except my feet were hurting a bit uh, while running. This might be due to the weight uh, gain increase. Okay, so I'm gonna put in 190 and save info. Now, what this is gonna do is just analyze that single report by default. And there's a lot more values that were kind of uh, low and high because of the post TRT. So if I go back to dashboard, we go to the very first one and I come over here to report in context. I can add the second report and it's going to analyze and compare the values. And any of the values that are like low or high, it will create an automatic insight, but we can also follow up in the chat bot and ask specific questions. All right, and here it is. Now you can see there's two lines, our progress bars essentially, lab values that compare each one of them. Um, and so if I go down and I do a search for testosterone, I'm gonna do an automatic search here soon. We'll find testosterone soon, there we go. So here's the total testosterone. And you could see from August 15th, it was 377, and now it's 11, <laughs> it was 1176. Now I timed this incorrect, um, I got them too soon, but now I can just go ahead through all these and ask it specific questions. It's like, for instance, what findings can be made based on my post TRT lab work? All right, so what's cool is that any time that there's like a uh, lab value, it kind of, outlines it in this blue color and I can go ahead and click on them like this for instance and it automatically takes me to that value. So I can get all this information. In short, your post TRT labs show that the therapy is working very effectively to raise your levels. They also highlight several common and expected side effects that are crucial for you and your doctor to manage together. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, give, it provides you with so much relevant information I, that really kind of pushes back against, you know, the, the dread of Googling your symptoms for something. That's always been a known thing. It always tells you you're gonna die, but this actually gives you really good advice based on the data that, you know, 
it, it's found. It's pretty crazy how accurate and how good this information is so far. So I just wanted to share that because I'm going to be completing this. Each lab report costs like a fraction of a penny. So like, I don't really have to charge very much at all to still have a nice uh, profit margin for this type of thing. Now, of course, there are other concerns like uh, the, the legality of having, you know, blood work and all this stuff analyzed. So I have to make sure I adhere to all those. But yeah, this is a less than two week old project with one person handling the design and also cursor handling pretty much all of the coding. And I'm super impressed because before I would run into walls a lot quicker, but now that these AI models are getting better, we're finding that they're getting, uh, we're able to get a little bit further along with the complexity of these apps. So I will say this, now that this project is getting a little bit larger, the AI is a little bit more difficult to steer. Sometimes what happens is you tell it to make a change and it might change some other functionality that you're not even aware of. And so it becomes an issue of kind of grappling between those two worlds. So anyways, I'm very excited to keep on sharing the progress of this. I would love to have this ready to go within like a month. We'll see though, it's only been two weeks. And I just wanted to share that today because uh, we're getting pretty far with this whole um, AI coding. I wouldn't call this vibe coding because I do have a technical background. Um, but I certainly have not done really any manual coding and it's got quite far. So anyhow, I'll see you all soon and goodbye.